some ingressive phonation. Let's go. All right, this is a ingressive phonation tutorial, basically. I will try to show you how this works. I hope by the end of this you're going to be able to do it. If not, I'm sorry, but I will try my best and let's go. All right, we are going to start off this tutorial um, by looking at what is ingressive phonation, what is inhale singing, and then I'm going to show you a few examples of what you can do with it. I'm no master at it, keep that in mind when I'm trying these things out. Um, but yeah, some, some pretty cool things that you can do with it. And um, what else? Oh yeah, exactly, the third thing, the tutorial itself. So I will try to give you some tips on what you can do to improve your inhale singing or what you can do to even learn it. There are some people out there that have big problems with the first step um, that they, they don't even really get a sound when they inhale. So um, I try to make this as easy for you as possible, but let's stop talking about this stuff. Let's go to the beginning, to the first topic, and that is, what is it actually? So what I think is correct and what makes the most sense, inhale singing is nothing more than exhale singing. There's barely any difference. Inhale singing is basically the same thing. Now, look at it like that. When you exhale, normal singing, you can sing in chest voice, head voice, um, or like falsetto, um, whistle and fry, vocal fry, um, chest fry, mix of that, subharmonics is also a exhale thing. But believe me or not, you can do all of these things with inhaling. And what's mostly used for inhaling is just um, falsetto, over to chest voice, maybe with some mix in there, um, down to fry. Um, there are, of course, people out there that use inhale singing for high whistle notes, but I personally am one of the persons that cannot do that inhaled. Um, or at least I choke myself off when trying it. Like, <laughs> oh, that was actually decent. No, it's it's not decent. It's, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Um, but normal whistle for me is easier. Not pretty, I'm still learning, but um, yeah, I cannot do that. Uh, I cannot do that inhaled. I just noticed I'm getting a little bit off track, so I'm gonna come back to this right now. Um, so my understanding of inhale singing, there is like barely any difference to exhale singing. The only difference is that you do it inhaled and you can basically do everything that you can do when exhaling you can do the same thing with inhaling all right um the second thing that we wanted to talk about is examples now as i said previously i'm no master at all of this stuff i try to do the best that i can and well i'm gonna show you a few examples of it so firstly normal inhale singing what you probably want to learn um, you just go from like middle chest voice down to vocal fry or something like that in order to get a low note or you start directly in vocal fry, whatever. Um, but it, remember, it's everything inhaled what you hear right now. So that's what I would call normal inhale singing that you can use pretty well in a cappella stuff, I think. Um, but that's only one of the things. Um, you can also use it to kind of, uh, if you get the mouth shaping and everything correctly, to sound like an octavist. Now, this is something I'm not really perfect at or anything like that, but it basically works. Um, I think I'll show you a clip right now from distance away um, where I try to make this as loud as possible because that's one of the great things about inhale is that you can build up 
big volume, very big volume, um, and you can knock somebody over from across the room, basically. Um, it's actually, that's fairly cool. I'm gonna show you a clip very quickly, and then I'm gonna tell you another one. That was pretty cool, right? Yeah. So that's one use. Another use is probably also very, very cool, and that is a beatbox skill. You know, beatboxers have been using this technique for a very long time. I don't know who invented it or anything like that. I think that's pretty much impossible to find out. But it's been known for quite a while, and beatboxers have been using it. And there is one specific inhale singing technique that is quite well known now in the a cappella community and that is the thing that Lane Stein always does. You know Lane Stein, the uh, beatboxer from Voice Play, he does that one thing and I'm gonna show you an example of that. I'm not good at it but I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> Something like that. It's not good, it's definitely not good, but you get what I mean. So you can do all of these different kinds of things, you can also do some beatbox stuff, you know. Um, I'm no beatboxer, I'm just trying to imitate what I heard. Um, this probably sounds ridiculous right now, but I don't care. Okay. Uh, so these are the examples that I can tell you. Now we will look into how you can do the same thing. Um, inhale singing was pretty easy for me always. I started doing it when I watched David Larson's video. By the way, check that out if you haven't. He basically gives some amazing tips and things like that and that was more than enough for me to figure out how this works. Um, uh, inhale was never a big problem for me, you know, when I tried it out the first time it was like uh, 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 Oh There it is and it was never difficult for me. So It's probably not the easiest thing for me to explain to you what exactly you have to do But I'm trying to and I hope you appreciate that So I think for the first crucial step to even get a sound when inhaling um, David Larson talked about uh, one inhaling sound that we all do and that's like <gasps> so <gasps> <gasps> that kind of sound <gasps> um, now if you don't get that you know it's probably because some of your positioning in here isn't quite correct um, it shouldn't really strain your voice in any way to do that, um, that's at least what I figured out, but so I think a good tip is to sing a normal um, chest voice note and sing it exhaled and then switch to inhale, switch to exhale, switch to inhale, switch to exhale, switch to inhale and maybe at first you just get air when inhaling but I think with just a few tries you will get a sound and you will have your first inhale singing note. So maybe you had you have problems going down and that's I think what some people maybe also struggle with. But I think this first step shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Um, if you already have problems with the first step, maybe I can help you in the comments. So, when you exhale, just always think about that you have the exact same feeling when inhaling. So, you sing a normal chest voice note, uh, and at the end you want to stick to exactly the same feeling and just inhale. Uh, uh, At first it might seem very unnatural for your voice to do that, 
but keep the exact same positioning. Don't change anything and inhale. Maybe you have to kind of uh, tighten up your voice a little bit more. Maybe that helps, um, but that should be the everything you need for the first step. That should be everything you need. So let's go to the second step. Um, and the second step is going down. So going down into the fry register, basically. Um, because when exhaling, it sounds like this. Uh, not very full and stuff like that. And inhale, it sounds like this. Uh, to me, as I said previously, it's never been difficult. So I can just try to explain you what I think could work. So when you when you found your inhale singing like your uh, your first note uh, 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 maybe you need more power uh, um or maybe you you still have like not even really a note just a uh, 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 you kind of have to allow the air to go over your vocal folds and to create a sound. If you don't do that, there's probably not going to be a sound. So you you have that feeling of the inhaled note. Uh... Now, I told you before that when you want to inhale, you want to have the exact same feeling like exhaling. And that's with your chest voice. Uh, uh. The same thing with vocal fry. Uh, 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 uh. It's difficult. It's It might be difficult at first because I know there are some people out there that simply cannot do it. I don't know why, but I think it has something to do with uh, committing that you have to allow the inhaling air to go over your vocal folds and to create a sound. You just have to not be afraid of like doing something to your voice. Uh, I mean, don't overdo this technique, but it should be fine. So just go For me, it's very difficult to go in low chest when inhaling. Um, I basically already automatically switch into chest fry and then into fry basically when inhaling. So if I would try to go for a low chest voice, a uh, chest voice note, it would sound like this. And it already turns into fry. So for me, it isn't really like difficult to hold that or anything like that. I just go down. I'm okay at this technique, but I don't think I can really explain it very well. I'm very sorry for that. If this tutorial didn't really help you that much, I'm sorry. Um, the only tip that I can really give you at the end is, as I said before, um, try to be careful and all that stuff. Uh, don't overdo this technique, you know, drink water, all the things that professional uh, vocal coaches would tell you for just normal singing. Apply the same things for this technique, you know, um, but do everything at your own risk. Um, I'm not responsible for anything like that. And yeah, one thing, do it consistently. Try it as often as possible and everything like that. There might be a chance that you are simply a person that that doesn't really inhale any kind of sound or hasn't ever done that before. Then this is going to be very, very unnatural for your voice, for your vocal cords. So maybe you have to do this like a few weeks, just this... <laughs> To get a feeling for it and I think once you get that it's actually fairly easy to do everything else like the inhaled whistle that I cannot do 
the high stuff like the head voice, normal chest voice of course, and down into the fry and actually inhaling subharmonics. I find that pretty useless, the inhaled subharmonics, but um, yeah, they sometimes creep in there when you try to go down into um, inhaled fry. I hope this helped you. Do it consistently. That's the best advice that I can really give you. And I really hope this helped. I will try to help you out in the comments um, if you have questions or anything like that. Uh, please ask. Um, I try to do my best to answer it. And if I notice that there are too many people that are still like completely, that have no clue what I'm talking about, I'm gonna do another video. But yeah, that's that's it for now. I hope you learned something. I hope you can do inhale singing now, or I hope that you can do it in a few weeks from now on. Um, yeah, that's it. Check out some of my other videos right here and right here. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.